In this lesson we're going to take a look at what logarithms are and how we can rewrite logarithms in exponential form and exponential functions into logarithmic form. Let's take a look at this example right here. If I have 3 to the x power equals 27. I want to know what the value of x is. Now by looking at this I can tell I know that 3 to the third power is 27, uh, but that's what logs are here for. We can actually rewrite this in a logarithmic form by saying log base 3 of 27 equals x. So when we find the log base 3 of 27, what we're really finding is the number that will be the power when we raise 3 to that power will give us 27. So we know that in this case x is equal to 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. So we're rewriting it into log form. Now let's take a look at something else here. Let's look at what each of these parts actually means. I'm going to write log base 2 we call this the base of 16. 16 is called the argument and then the number that it's equal to that's actually the exponent. So the question is 2 to what power is equal to 16? And I've rewritten that in exponential form. 2 to the well 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 so 2 to the fourth power is equal to 16. Therefore the log base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. So I can write any exponential equation into logarithmic form or any logarithmic equation into exponential form which is going to allow me to later be able to find any log using a uh, common calculator that has a logarithmic function on it. For example if I have log base 5 of 17 equals x. Then I can rewrite that by doing my base, that's my number being raised to a power in an exponential equation, of 5 raised to the x power, remember x is the exponent, is equal to 17. And so whatever that power turns out to be, we or would work that with a calculator, uh, 5 to whatever power is equal to 17 would give us our answer. So we've rewritten that logarithmic form into exponential form. Likewise we can take any exponential equation 6 to the third power equals x. I could rewrite that as a logarithmic equation by saying log, remember the base is 6, log base 6 of x, that's our argument, is equal to 3. So I can write or change between logarithmic and exponential form quite easily. Being able to do that will give me ways of solving exponential equations. Just be sure you understand the various terms that go with it. One thing we need to look at is that sometimes we write logarithmic form like this log and we write a 3 equals x. And it may appear that we've just forgotten to write our base there. But this is actually called a common log. When you have a common log, the base is assumed to be something, uh, even though you don't see it there. Uh, the base is assumed to be, in this case, base 10. Uh, therefore, this could be written exponentially as 10 to the x power equals 3. And whatever power x would be equal to, uh, that would cause 10 to that power to be equal to 3. So anytime you don't see a base actually written there that's called a common log, uh, base 10 is assumed and uh, you'll notice that a lot of calculators will have log base 10 keys on them and uh, we'll learn in later lessons uh, how we can take advantage of that actually to work different bases using a change of base law that we'll look at later.